But the drought in the last five to six years has been enormous and has changed the face of California. Everybody thinks of reservoirs and fire like this, but really we haven't known the fate of our forests in the context of the ongoing drought, which actually we might still have drought, by the way, just because we got some rain this year isn't necessarily telling us that we're out of drought. But really, what is the condition of our forests as forest managers need to know? So we use this spectrum again, and I just put a box around a critical part of it that shows us that we can fly over and measure how much water is in the tree canopy. And what better way to know how a tree is doing than to understand that whether it has a lot of water or not so much water. It's kind of like getting a blood test, seeing how you're doing physiologically. So we fly over a place like this that looks just fine and green, a day that it wasn't so smoky, but deep in the drought, 2015. And actually, the yellow colors show trees that are drought stressed. These are uh, redwoods, coastal redwoods. So the landscape of green is not green. Yellow is drought stressed. Green is lots of water in those canopies. Notice how the drought stressed trees are a little higher elevation and on slopes where the soil moisture would maybe be lost a little earlier in the drought. And this tells managers where to apply, for example, in this case, fire protection. And that's a key because that's invisible to the naked eye. Here's Sequoia National Park, a place I work quite a lot nowadays. It is on fire in this image. Uh, that's, uh, if you look in the top, August 2015. Flyover looks kind of gray-green. It has areas of severe drought stress in its tree canopies. And this was very useful to managers because it allowed them to do fire breaks and prescribe fires and try to isolate areas that look like they're basically goners.